Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. In this video, I'll present to you two insanely popular back exercises that, according to a study published this past August, are making you more likely to develop shoulder impingement in the long run. I will also present you with the safest alternative according to the same study. So, let's dig right in. If you are performing either wide grip pull-ups or underhand grip chin-ups, as marked in red, you may want to stop and instead perform a closer shoulder width grip pull up as marked in green. It is worth noting that these photos came directly from the study as well, so consider them accurate. The research found that both the wider and underhand grip versions demonstrate movement patterns that are linked with increased impingement risk. And if we go by a 2009 case report, underhand grip chin ups may also put you at risk for shoulder dislocation. This is because the chin-up exercise places the glenohumeral joint in a position of instability, which increases the likelihood of dislocation. Whereas the closer shoulder width pull-up causes less friction in the shoulder joint, and as such, it is the safest option. As development goes, this is of little consequence for the lats, as EMG data reveals that pull-ups actually activate the lats about 12% more than underhand grip chin-ups do. However, the biceps are in for a bit of bad news. EMG data also reveals that pull-ups activate the biceps 34% less than the underhand grip chin-ups do. As a substitute, you could perform easy bar curls for your biceps as your primary heavy exercise. While not as activating for the biceps as the weighted chin-up, well, depending on how much weight you can actually chin, it is safer for your shoulder health in the long run and provides more bicep activation than the pull-ups. Unfortunately, this study did not investigate chin-ups using a parallel neutral grip or a slightly angled bar, which some gyms have, including mine, or even chin-ups using rings, which allow you to adjust to an angle that feels more natural for your body. So there are certainly some questions that are left without answers. Now that being said, a parallel neutral grip would very likely reduce stress on the shoulders since they do not externally rotate. And the neutral grip variety, according to EMG data, only activates the biceps about 10% less than the underhand grip chin-ups do, with only a negligible 2% loss in lat activation compared to the underhand grip. So for now, I'd say stick with closer shoulder width grip pull-ups and or parallel neutral grip chin-ups for the lats and easy bar curls for directly hitting your biceps for the long-term health of your shoulders and a more enjoyable lifetime of exercise. Remember, if you fuck up your shoulders, it can take at least six months to heal, not to mention surgery and rehab in severe cases, and even then, some folks are never the same again. This study was definitely news for me, as I'm a big underhand grip chin-ups fan, as you may have likely gathered from some of my recent training videos. But hey, you live and you learn and you make adjustments where necessary to train as intelligently as possible. Anyway, stir up some dialogue down below. Have any of you ever suffered an injury due to wider grip pull-ups or underhand grip chin-ups? Well, please share your stories in the comments, perhaps even some workarounds that you found or what you went through. If you'd like to reach out to me directly, I do ask that you please post over at my blog, Stronger Faster Vegan, which I will link below. Please also hit that like button just below, and please share this video to spread the useful information and help others out. Plus, for smaller channels like my own, it's the little things that go a long way in getting our work noticed, especially in the face of YouTube's constantly shifting algorithms. Also, please be sure to hit that subscribe button just below to keep on top of my weekly updates. And even if you think that you are subscribed, please double check. A YouTube glitch has been unsubbing people from various channels against their will as of late, and I've received messages about this. Otherwise, Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.